Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of 263 Insights. I hope you're okay wherever you are. So, after Mr. Q drew a, a, uh, faced a lot of backlash from Zimbabweans online, after he said that the Zimbabweans, they don't know how to buy bro, and they smell, they don't bath. Uh, he later apologized, but recently he said no. Fuck you all. Uh, he posted another video again, you know, shaming Zimbabwe that uh, Zimbabwe they don't bath, they smell. So, so let's, let's watch the video and try to understand what is this guy doing exactly. For me, I don't really know at this point. Um, I'm thinking maybe, you know, you know, fame. Sometimes a lot of people are doing a lot of things right now in order to get famous. And they are succeeding. You might find out that he's going to be famous very soon, this guy. So let's play this thing. Let's see what he's saying in this video and try to break down his content. Okay, I'm not sure what's up. Kezanibo, 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 please. Kezani, 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 so we saw my man, just so we are she man. Tell her to be Keze, yes, sis. I'll get Keze, please. As funu kubona ma bikini this summer, as funu kubona chwala, as funu kubona zinga, as funu kubona ama deodorant, na ma perfume, na ma roll-on. Kezani, au ngegu izi nuki soko isi dumbu wenu pila. Aibo, au keze, please. This is smelling like a Zimbabwe. Ah, 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 ah. Agula. Okay, I'm not going to watch the rest of the video because already I'm going to stop there. That's where the problem is. Um, so I don't know why this guy even apologized to to people. You don't need to apologize. He, he didn't need to apologize if he knew he was going to come back and say the same thing that he had apologized before about. Because we can really see that that's his content. That's what he's going to get famous using. He's going to get famous using criticizing Zimbabweans, despising Zimbabweans, and dehumanizing them, um, and stereotypes, you know. So, I don't know why he's thinking, like, this is the right thing to do. Because if, it, if it's fame that he wants, if he's really talented, like from what I've said in my previous video, he could have achieved a lot. He could have already been famous by now. Okay, let's let's take an example. We have Trevor Noah. We all know Trevor Noah. I he's well famous right now. He's one of the best comedians in in the whole world. But I have been watching him since he was doing stand up comedy in South Africa until he was working at the Daily Show. Until now, he's he got his own podcast on Spotify. I'm still watching because he's talented. I love his content. But I've never seen him when he was in the states. Uh, despising South Africans or saying that ah, South Africans are violent or they are killing white uh, black South Africans are killing white people they are violent or they are xenophobic I've never heard him say anything to despise these people just in the name of being funny yes I've seen him criticizing politicians criticizing uh, the, the police network and everything and talking about crime in South Africa but I've never heard him saying South Africa is this, trying to dehumanizing them. I have never, because he's intelligent. So when you lack intelligence, that's what happens. This guy, his IQ is so low, that's why he's thinking that going in public and criticizing your own people and or embarrassing your own people or say something bad about your own people, it's cool, it's, it's actually fun. It's not funny. It's not comedy, my guy, because you know that stereotype and you know that the environment that you're talking, you are in right now, Zimbabweans are actually the most hated foreign nationals in South Africa. You know that. I think Zimbabweans and Nigerians, 
So you can't go around in the same environment as a Zimbabwe despising your own people. It doesn't make sense to me. I have never seen this from a Nigerian. I have never seen this from any nationality in South Africa doing this. It's only us Zimbabweans. We have the guts to say, okay, South Africans, what you have been saying all this time is right. We don't bath, we smell. It's it's crazy. It's 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 insane. It's 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 it's, it's dumb because you you still have if Bukata Sabai Baba Vested Federal right there. I should never because you are born in Blawai or in Cholod or wherever you were born. Abana was you know you are born in KZ. No. So you are still part of the game that you are criticizing, that you are dehumanized. So it doesn't make sense. That's why people sometimes they don't realize whatever they are doing is self hate. They think they are funny, they think that they are being relevant, but it's just self hate. You are hating yourself as a Zimbabwean and it's actually so embarrassing and so sad. I hope you find success in whatever he's doing, but uh, it's actually not fun. I don't think I would even pay why waste my time trying to subscribe to his channel or trying to watch his content anymore. I just feel this is the, this is it. I'm done. I'm not gonna even react to him anymore. Cause what will we get? Cause he's actually telling people that I as a Zimbabwean I don't bath we, I don't have the couch of bathing we and uh, we I smell. So that is it guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm on.